Good morning. Why would Jesus curse a fig tree? Today we're going to look at the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 12 to 14, and then we're going to jump across to verses 20 through 24 because that picks up the fig tree. And tomorrow we'll look at the uh, verses 15 and 19 in between. Let's read. Now the next day when they had come out from Bethany, he was hungry, and seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he would find something on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus said to it, Let no one eat fruit from you ever again. And his disciples heard it. Now over to verse 20. Now in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered away. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. So, so Jesus is not just down on plants, okay? He's nearing the end of his ministry, and he's, he's here in Jerusalem, and he's looking for some, some production from the Hebrews. He's looking for them to show that they've cut, drawn close to God. Jesus wants to see where the Jews are after this 490-year probationary period has just about passed. Where are they at, you know, now spiritually? They've had centuries to put their house in order spiritually, but and they've had about 11 chapters so far in our study, but things aren't in order spiritually for the Hebrew people. Now, what we're looking at here is this was a probationary period for the Jewish people, and now we're near the end of it. So probationary means, you know, there's a limit, there's a test and at the end of it, and here we are. And again, no big results that are on the right side of the line. And so here's Jesus, looks at the tree, no fruit, and he curses this tree. He gives, him, gives it an anti-blessing. He turns it around because there's no fruit. And it's been given opportunity, time. The Jews have had time to, to receive Jesus, but they're not going to receive him. So we have this tragic situation. And in some G, Jesus uses the fig tree to demonstrate where they're going to land. This is, this is like a final warning thing, you know. And so that's what he does. He curses the fig tree, walks away. The, the probation of the tree, so to speak, is ended. The next time the disciples walk by the tree, they see it, and it's all shriveled up. It's just a terrible, deadish-looking tree. And now what does Jesus do? He's going to use this to give a lesson of faith. He's giving them a lesson of faith because this tree is all dried up. And so he says to them, have faith. This lesson is an indictment of the Hebrew nation. They've had time. They just haven't used it productively, spiritually. And so here we have one kind of their last warning, and it's done in this very uh, interesting manner. What about us? What about you and I? Are we ready? There's a spiritual lesson for us here. Is there anything that's in the way that's keeping us from walking close to God? Is there anything that's going to keep us from passing uh, the next strong test that might come to us in exercising our faith. Here's a lesson for us. We need to be ready, and we need to know how to exercise faith in God. The Jewish nation didn't give us a good example of exercising faith in God. Let's pray about this. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for your loving watch care over Israel. For hundreds of years, they were given opportunity and you sent them prophets and, and people to draw them close to you, but they didn't pass the test. They just didn't get on to the plan, Lord. Help us. Help that not to be true for us. Help us to know how to exercise faith in God. And so, Lord, please help us so that there will be fruit uh, for the gospel from our life and ministry, each one of us individually. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, is there, is there any item you know of that needs to be resolved with God? Something that's kind of, you've been hanging back on, you haven't sorted out? Why don't you work on that today? Why don't you draw close to God today and see what He wants to do for you? God be with you today as you serve Him.